Hi, I'm Paul Hopewell. Welcome back to my shed. Before I go any further, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support. And I'd like to encourage those new to my channel to subscribe and click the bell. If you do like what you've seen, please click on the thumbs up. This helps me understand current requirements and gives me an idea of how to improve. Also, if you have any suggestions or comments, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. This video is about a modification I was asked to make to an exhaust collar from a Villiers two-stroke engine. It's a cast steel component with fins that I believe are not only there to aid some sort of cooling, uh, but to provide a substantial amount of purchase towards holding the manifold pipe in place. There is however a problem with this and that is that the uh, collar does have a tendency to come undone and uh, for the exhaust to fall off. My plan is to cut a slot in one side and use a, a 6mm bolt to hold it all together. The trouble is that these fins are radially cast and there isn't very much material around the fairly large thread. I'm going to use a milling machine uh, with a combination of tools to cut a path for the 6mm bolt and to provide a spot face for the nut and bolt when they're finally assembled. Because there's not much meat on this clamp I've got to be careful not to cut through to the threaded section in the ball. To prevent this I'm scribing a line in the marking blue indicating the safe thread line. Uh, then I'm using a small scribe block to extend this scribe mark around the fins. The inside length of the thread is approximately 14mm long, so I'm going to drill the hole at 7mm from the back of the collar. Using the odd leg scribe set to 7mm, I can position this whole centreline. After securing the collar in the milling vise, I set to a centre line using a pointer. It's an old drill that's been sharpened to a point. The cutter I'm using is a 6mm two flute cutter and I'm plunge cutting very carefully and at very slow RPM because the skin hardness is one problem and because of the weird angles that the cutter is going to negotiate. You can see here that the cutter is working very hard while I'm trying not to snap it. Here I'm using an 11mm two flute cutter to provide bolt clearance and to make the spot facings. Just using the airline to clear away the swarf and paraffin uh, before I turn the material over and do the other side. Six millimetre hole was successful at clearing three of the four fins but I still had to use the pointer to reset the material. Even using the 11 millimetre two flute cutter to plunge cut through the second side made the quill bounce a bit whilst the cutter found hard and then softer bits of material. I don't see the point of setting up the milling machine to cut this slot through, especially when the hacksaw has got two blades installed to provide the 2mm cut I need. I know you're thinking that what an idiot hacksawing through a perfectly good exhaust collar and put a flimsy 6mm bolt in its place. Well, this is the second one of these that I've done and the first one was the experiment and it's been very successful and has never budged, not since it's been put on. Anyway, that's all for the time being. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.